those of you joining me in the Business Calculus course, welcome. And we're going to start today with limits. These are the foundation to all of calculus. And we're going to do it in a graphical and numerical approach so that you get used to or you get to understand the concept before we actually start calculating it analytically. So what do we have? Well, what is a limit firstly? Well, as x approaches a value a, so let's try to visualize it with a coordinate, coordinate axis, a mini coordinate axis here on the right. So you have your x-axis and your y-axis, as you all know, and x approaches a, that means a is going to leave in the x-axis, let's say it's there, and x, or the values of x we're going to consider are going to be tending towards A, going to be traveling towards A. There you go. So we're going towards A. Well, the limit of f of x is L, that's what we're going to call it, and it's written as limit as x goes to A of f of x equals L if all values of f of x are close to L for values of x that are sufficiently close but not necessarily equal to A. The limit L must be a unique real number. So for example, if your function would be somewhere down here, well, as you travel in the x coordinate towards A, your y values would be getting closer and closer to this value L. As you go here, you're going to be a little below L, and, as you, and if you go here, you're gonna be a little above L. My lines are not perfect. And as you come closer and closer to A, you're going to get closer and closer to A. Well, my graph is horrible, I agree. Let's try to do it with an example and see how we do. So let's look at this function here. We have the function x minus 2 divided by x squared plus x minus 6. Well, what happens when you evaluate it at x equals 2? Well, you have 2 minus 2 in the numerator, that gives you 0. Then when you evaluate the denominator, you get 2 squared plus 2, that's 6, minus 6, that's 0. So you have a 0 in the denominator. So unless you're Chuck Norris, you cannot divide by 0. <laughs> so you have that f at 2 does not exist. And this is because uh, the denominator is zero. So x squared, well, I, should, I should write rather, uh, two squared plus two minus six is equal to zero. So we have a problem. So what do we do? Well, the function is certainly not defined there. And if you took pre-calculus before this or college algebra, perhaps, you know that when you have a zero in the denominator, it is often related to a, an asymptote, a vertical asymptote. Well, let's see if this function does that. And if I'm asking or if I'm pointing this out, it's because in fact this function will not do that. Let's see what we can do. Let's evaluate the function close to two, but not quite at two. And since we're business calculus people, we think about 199 being close to two, right? the closest price you can have to 2. Well, let's evaluate that. So 1.99 minus 2 divided by 1.99 squared plus 1.99 minus 6. Well, I calculated this previously and it is 2, 0.2004 and then some decimals so let's say it's approximately equal to that. Okay, let's see what happens when we evaluate 1.999. That would be 1.999 minus 2 divided by the function evaluated, the denominator evaluated at 1.999, which is 1 point, there's a point there, 999 squared plus 1.999 minus 6. And it is worthwhile for you to plug it in your calculator and make sure you get the same numbers. It is approximately equal to 0 0, or 0.2, sorry, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0
we calculate uh, the next one I won't write the whole function I'll just give you the result it's like a cooking show I have everything prepared in advance it's gonna be point two and then four zeros and then four yeah it took me a lot of effort to memorize these numbers and we fill the whole table like that and you'll say what in the world are we doing let me fill up the table and I'll get back to you in one second all right, so thanks to the magic of the television or YouTube, we have finished our table. And uh, well, what happens is, if you look at what this means, is if you would have the numeric, the the real line here, right here. Well, very straight line apparently. This is your x-axis. I'm zooming in to the, a neighborhood around x equals 2. x equals 2 would live here. Then you'd have 2.001, 2.00, well I said 1, 0 less, 1, 2.01, then 1.99, went 4 nines, 1.999, and then 1.99. So your function, as you're getting closer and closer to 2, your function in the y coordinate you see is getting closer and closer to point 2. You see how when you are to the left of 2 here, you are you are at point two zero 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 four, so just a little above point 2. And when you pass 2, we don't know exactly what the function is there because it's not defined. The function has no value there. Uh, when we pass to the right of it, we have something that is just slightly below point 2. So we could, with this, based on this evidence, say that the limit is approximately point 0.2. It's close to that. Let's look at the graph of the function and see what the graph looks like. Again, as in the TV, I have everything prepared. So as x goes, equal, goes towards 2, the function does not take the value. The computer does draw a straight line there, but technically there's an open hole there. The function does not take that value, but is but is tending to the value of 0 0.2. You see, as x goes to 2, your function is going to 0.2. This is not to say that f of 2 is equal to 0.2. That's not true. The function is not defined there, but the limit of the function goes to x equals 2 is point or approximately point 0.2. Right now, it is just approximate. We're doing it with the help of the graph and a table, but in the next section, we will learn how to do it algebraically. So we will have certainty about that number. But for the time being, this is good enough because we're trying to understand the concept. So until then, we, this is the way we're going to calculate our limits. Thank you guys for watching and continue to watch the next videos on this section.